In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add a before and after slider in Squarespace. Unfortunately, since this functionality is not possible through Squarespace itself, what we need to do is make use of a third party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. So the first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to the elfsite.com platform. Once you click on the link, this is the page that you will see. From here, what I want you to do is to go ahead and hover over the widgets button right here. Then I want you to go all the way to tools on the right hand side here and look for before and after slider. In my case, it's right here. I'm going to click on this and then that's going to take me to before and after slider widgets page. From here, scroll all the way down here and you will see a number of different templates that you can choose from. So if you take a look here, uh, I have four different templates that I can choose from. I have a simple comparison, I have a retouch slider, I have a product comparison, as well as a list of works. So if I just show you how this works, as you can see, when you slide around, you can access two different images by sliding across. Now, don't worry about the actual look or the design here just yet. Just choose the one that you like because we can customize pretty much anything later on. So choose the one that you like. I'm gonna go for this uh, simple comparison right here. And then once you're ready, go ahead and click continue with this template in the bottom left corner of the screen. And here, what you need to do is simply upload your images. In my case, I have two images because I want the slider to only do these two images right here. So upload your set. As you can see, there is a before image and an after image, and that makes up one set. You can add another set, and then you can also delete sets by clicking on these three dots right here. On the left-hand side of the screen, you also have layout, which is where you can customize the layout. Um, you have settings right here. So for example, if you want the direction to be vertical and not horizontal, just like this, you can do that. I'll keep it horizontal because I like the look of it. Um, you can also customize the style here. So color-wise, labels, captions, anything like that, this is where you can customize it. I'm not going to get into too much detail about this because I don't want to make the video super long. So I'll just leave this up to you. Once you're happy with the way your before and after slider looks and the content of it and everything, go ahead and click add to website for free. And then in a couple of seconds, your widget will be created. Now, before you are taken to this page right here, uh, you will need to log in into the Elfsite platform. You can either create a standalone account or you can log in through Google, which is what I've done because it's much easier and quicker. Once you've done that in the top right corner of the screen, you will see this publish button right here. Click on this and then here we need to choose a plan. Since this is the first widget that we are using from the Elfsite platform, we can opt for the free plan right here by clicking on select. However, in the future, if you do plan to use any of the other widgets, you will have to opt for one of the premium plans right here. But for now, we're gonna go for the free plan. So go ahead and click on select right here. And then this will take us to the embed code section, which is where we can copy the code of the widget that we just created. So now what we need to do is go back to our Squarespace website and integrate the widget. Once you are in your Squarespace editor, as you can see, I have added a brand new section here where I want to add my widget. It doesn't matter whether you want to add it to an existing section or a new one, it all works exactly the same way. What I want you to do now is to go to the section where you want to add your before and after slider. And then once you hover over that section in the top left corner of the screen, you will see this add block button. Click on that. And then if I just move myself out of the way, you will see this code button right here. Click on this. And then that's going to add this code box right here. Simply drag it anywhere on the screen. I'll put mine right in the middle right here. And then what we need to do is go ahead and click this pencil icon right here. And then that's going to open up a brand new window here. From the mode, make sure that this is set to HTML because the code that we copied is HTML. And then go ahead and delete this first line of text right here and replace it with the text or the code that we just copied. Then in a couple of seconds, your uh, widget will be added to your Squarespace website. All you need to do now is simply resize it accordingly, just like this, as big as you want. And then what you can do now is go ahead and preview it. Actually, before you do that, save it in the top left corner of the screen, then click on exit. And then let's go ahead and preview the website and see what our before and after slider looks like and whether it works as intended. Here's the slider. And as you can see, it works wonderfully. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to add the before and after slider in Squarespace. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.